from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. Tom Kirk Smith. Monday stop stars. The number is not released as yet to justify it, but that coronavirus lockdown in Cat Island and parts of Landross, which was supposed to end today, has been extended for another seven days. The office of the Prime Minister announcing that extension yesterday. Now, health officials continue to try and control the recent spread of the virus in those areas. The lockdown in parts of the Barry Islands was extended an additional two days, but that ended this morning. The other two will now run through next Monday at least. Opposition leader Davis, who is the MP for Cat Island, not happy about that extension, calling it unnecessary, and accused the competent authority of causing further misery by stubbornly refusing to take advice and learn from mistakes. He wants mass testing to be done in the affected areas. Meantime, former Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands is among those contending that despite vaccinations, we are still not out of the woods for this virus. He says we need another 200,000 persons to get vaccinated to see results. But there is still that hesitancy. I think we have to be an uh, open, transparent, honest with people about the risks, about the benefits, about who is at high risk for uh, vaccine adverse events. And to let everybody know that this is a very personal decision. That said, the Bahamas also has to be able to position itself to be a COVID-safe destination. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The head of the COVID-19 enforcement unit telling the Tribune there's some improvement in violations of restrictions. Chief Superintendent Dame says seven businesses were cited for violations over the Labor Day holiday weekend, resulting in almost $300,000 in fines. Police investigating the latest murder of a man shot and killed on Milton Street here in the capital over the weekend, identified by relatives as 22-year-old Eduardo Delavo. He was facing murder and firearms charges in court, and he was out on bail. Police in Abaco looking into an apparent Labor Day holiday drowning incident there. The body of a man found in waters at Wells Bay. He was there with family members. Police not sure of the circumstances at this point. Prestigious award for former FNM MP Janet Bostwick. She's been named the winner of the Caricom Trennial Award for Women for 2021. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area now. Partly sunny, highs in the mid to upper 80s. 83 at Freeport, 84 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. Caution flags up for boaters, winds gusting to 20 knots, the seas up to 6 feet over open waters. High tide now, the next low around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s, no systems in the tropics. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We are in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader. 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Monday's World News headlines a busy stretch for U.S. President Joe Biden coming up. He heads to London for the G7 summit this week, then goes on to a NATO meeting in Brussels before heading to Switzerland for a sit-down with Russian President Putin. Changing times in Israel, the vote expected this week on the new coalition government that would oust Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu after 12 years in office. He is calling it fraud and is planning challenges. The U.S. reaches another milestone in its COVID-19 vaccination effort. At least 300 million persons have now had at least their first shot. The U.S. is well on the way to returning to normal as a result. Tribune's gas tracker prices to start the week. Shell 491, SO 501, Rubus $5.01 per gallon in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get the latest on our men's soccer team competing in that tournament in Puerto Rico. Mixed results so far. There's an update on our track and field relay teams and their preparations. Find out who won the two big golf tournaments in the U.S. over the weekend and how Serena Williams lost in the French Open tennis tournament. The latest on DeAndre Ayton and the Suns in the NBA playoffs. They take on Denver in the next round beginning tonight. Latest on Jazz on the Marlins closing a series in Pittsburgh yesterday. They finally get a win. Another big game for John Quell Jones from the WNBA. Found out what she did against the New York Liberty. And tributes to a couple of sports greats who passed recently. Basketball's Peter Gilkert and softball's Edna Forbes in the Tribune Sports Monday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.